What is up everybody and welcome back to my next Transformers Studio Series video. In this video I will review our Autobot Bumblebee. Now if you've seen my previous video that I filmed before when I was on my first toy hunt, I'm pretty sure like a hundred there's like a hundred eight reviews currently right now on that video, but if you saw we purchased Bumblebee that day. Uh, Bumblebee turns into a 2007 Chevrolet Camaro in 39 steps. But here we can see um, nice headlights, and if you look closer, you can see the Chevrolet logo right there. But here, I love that the doors actually open on this one. Um, the wheels are very movable. You could even see the Chevrolet logo right there. Looks really, really cool. And if you have Optimus Prime, his movie number one version, uh, Ironhide, Jazz, and Ratchet. All from their movie number one version, and this Bumblebee, you can actually have them like that, and it looks pretty cool. From the top, Bumblebee looks pretty cool, and uh, but what I really am disappointed is that 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 like the Studio Series don't really have the seats in the inside, but because they they can do every single tiny little step, but I believe it would be pretty cool if they had like the seats inside and everything. But other than that, he's a pretty good figure. I give him 5 out of 5 stars. Right here, you can see his face. He comes with his battle mask ready to fight. Other than his regular Bumblebee face. I really do like his battle mask. and But I'd prefer to have his Bumblebee face instead. And and if and the cannon that you that he he came with in the box. Um, you can attach it to right here. To the back right here. You could attach it to the back if you want, or you could have it just separate, but just keep it like somewhere like that, and then you could have it like that. All right. So now let's take a look at his box. Now you notice today's video was a little bit different that I that I went over the figure first and the box. Um, uh, you just know because um, Bumblebee is a really exciting figure. I just wanted to review him very good. Um, Bumblebee is inspired by the movie Transformers, just Transformers, not Dark of the Moon, not Revenge of the Fallen, not Age of Extinction, or The Last Night, or Bumblebee, just Transformers. S his iconic movie scene is the city tunnel switch, where, where Bumblebee is in the scene, you can see right here that, he's, that there's a Camaro right here where he scans. Right here it reads, Bumblebee trades his clunker look for something shiny and new. Well, he was in a 19 something something um, Camaro version, which was like kind of flat-ish, like it was kind of flat. And then he saw this type of car, he's like, ooh, I want something very shiny. And then he got it, and then boom, he turned into something real, real good. Alright. Um, right here on the box, we can see a nice picture of Bumblebee with his, uh, with his cannon that is kind of bluish. Although in the movie, it's kind of orange, where the where all of his his um his cannon and bullets come out, it's orange. But right here, it's blue. Um, I like that his face comes on the picture. His face has the the blue little um eyes right there, and the Autobot logo right there. Looks pretty cool. The feet as well. Right here, we can see another the same picture of Bumblebee, but just half of his body here. He is Studio Series number forty nine. Um. 49, he is a deluxe class. Right here, you can see his face right here. And that's it. Alright. So now, we, we should start transforming Bumblebee. So you have to bring out his um, doors like this. Separate them from the other pieces that they are, that they're on. Like this little piece that's near the wheel part, just separate it from right there. <clears throat> there, there. Now you have his door open. If you want to make a stop motion, I suggest you use a Lego, a little Lego minifigure for the stop motion. If you want to make one, uh, just have it like this. Go in the car like that. What I really like about Bumblebee is that, is that like he, his figure is super like cool and good and everything. That 
that um, that he is better than any other Bumblebee model they're making right now. Other than the next year, next year's um, um, Bumblebee model, which might be where he comes with Sam, his Revenge of the Fallen mode. Which he, I don't see that much of a difference, but I think he is a little bit different in that in that movie. But um, I am really looking forward to the next Bumblebee model. Um, I got I got it at um, my my local Walmart that you well you you saw in the video that in the video um the toy hunt video that I did the other day like I think like two weeks two two three weeks ago that I got Bumblebee from there. Oh, and just one little thing: don't put his legs up right away because we're here. He's like stuck on right here. I'd prefer if you push it like that. You push it like that so that, and then pull his legs up because. The first Bumblebee model I had, I pro I broke on accident because of the legs and then the wings at the back. But I just had to be more careful. That's why I got in. That's how I got my new one at at um, Walmart. And this is the one from Walmart. The one I originally had from Amazon. That one is 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 long gone. All right, so. So you're probably wondering right here, like, like how do you get this part like on his chest? Well, you just have to take this piece out, and then like that. It looks like if it was his actual, it's actual um, part of like the front part of the car, but actually it's not. Oh, and things that are detachable, they can reattach very easily. All you gotta do is just put them back in like that, and then they reattach. Some pieces. Don't reattach if excessive force is is applied. Some pieces cannot be reattached. Like if you chip a piece off or something, cannot be reattached. I suggest you return your figure and then get a new figure. And that's that's what I suggest. But there are all, also other alternatives where you can just buy a new figure and keep the broken one, or you can return the broken one, get a replacement or something. And there you have Bumblebee. There, Bumblebee is now complete. Bumblebee is actually four, five inches, I believe, four point five inches. And then his little cannon, you could, you could have the choice of putting it on, on his arm right here, or you can put, put it um, right here, right, right over here. See. Now your Bumblebee is complete. Now if you have Optimus Prime and the other Autobots from movie number one, you can you can um showcase them right here, right next to Bumblebee, and it'll look pretty, pretty darn cool. Alright. And if you want to showcase Bumblebee in his backdrop, what you simply gotta do is take it out. Take out his backdrop, put his box to the side for now. And then you have Bumblebee in his backpack. Pretty cool, right? Now, in this part of the film, um, um, Bumblebee trades his um, 19 something Camaro version to Sun. To his two thousand, to a new version, his two thousand seven Camaro, which I I like both, but the but um, but it was pretty cool how he did it. He just slanted the car like like he made himself go like kind of sideways, so the so that he could scan the the night the new Camaro version, and then that's how he became his new Camaro. Now, if you have Studio Series number zero one or number twenty. 27, you can recreate this iconic movie moment in the, in the movie. Now, uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a nice comment. I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video. And our next video may be about Megatron, Constructicon, or our next Megatron model that, or, yeah, our next Megatron model that, that we got from Walmart. Um, on our third toy hunt 
Now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video. Goodbye.